In his brain. Uh, he was always available, and always with lots of passion, as he, as he is now. And uh, I, I feel like I learned a, a good deal from being around uh, Coach Fleck. And, uh, and, I, and I appreciate our relationship. To this day, when I see him, uh, it feels like we're just picking up where we left off. So I appreciate that. Brian, PJ mentioned that some of the best receivers are impactful without the football. And he was talking about that. It comes off the page when he watches Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, yeah. I th oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, just yeah. what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, uh, you know, I mean, that's, imp and that's impactful. I mean, I think that you're going you're gonna to take 70 snaps. You're going to, you know, on a good day, a good day, you're going to have 10, you know, 12 maybe catches on a really good day. Uh, on an average day, you're going to touch the ball five, six, seven times. So, what are you doing when you don't have the ball, right? I mean, so I think the, uh, I appreciate him saying that. I think the guys work hard at adding value uh, when they don't have the ball in their hands. And uh, I think not only Marvin, uh, but the rest of the room, uh, we feel you know great dealy about that and helping the running backs. And when, we, when, when other guys have the ball, we're blocking for them, right? You've seen that a lot this year. So uh, I appreciate that comes off the, uh, the film. Yeah, and then Julian seems like, that point, one of the best blockers, maybe on the team just in general. Uh, has that been something that you've noticed this year, and how is he contributing without maybe some of those? Oh yeah, I mean, I think uh, we've done we've grown a lot in the in the uh, perimeter blocking game. I think that we always were pretty willing, uh, but you know, when push comes to shove, and the point of attack, we had to do a better job of executing at times. And and uh, but they've really bought in. They want to be. They've they've shown that, and uh, must continue. Well, I would say, you know, it's just the natural growth of a young athlete becoming a grown athlete, if you will. Uh, you know, when you're young, the body of work is not there. Uh, and usually you need a lot of body of work to build trust. Uh, I would say he kind of defied that. He did a good job making corrections the first time he made a mistake. Uh, he tried to prevent a lot of mistakes, which he did a good job of. Uh, so, you know. I can't speak enough, you know, highly about enough about him. I think uh, he's doing a great job. I would say that, you know, he really was rolling through camp, through the off season. He kind of got dinged up coming out of camp, and then you know it took him a, probably until about the bye to kind of get healthy again. And uh, once that happened, he kind of picked up where he was, where he left off, and, uh, and he's really done a good job. You know, I expect him to carry that momentum through uh, the rest of this year and then into next year. What have you? Uh you know, I think uh, big testament to him on the, the hype. I think that it also is a big testament to this university and this offense and and uh, what people think of, you know, the level at which we're playing. You know, I think that, uh, you know, he's, he's been a, a major focus for our offense. He's still productive, you know, even with Mech down and, and Julian banged up and, and so, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it. I don't, I don't get caught up in it too much. Uh, he's very deservant because of the work being put in. Uh, but I know, and I like what he says, you know, he's here to, you know, win championships. And, and that's been our focus in our room. Just that you find, like, even the fact that he's, I mean, it, this is not a position that ordinarily wins the award. It's a sort of a quarterback for what I think only, like, four receivers have ever won the thing. Yep. Like, is it cool, like, to have one of you guys, like, a part of that, like, conversation? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, you, you hope, you know, at times that these awards aren't just stat awards. You know, there's a lot that goes into things. And and uh, if it's just a stat award, they should just call it that. But uh, if you're trying to find the best player in college football, obviously I'm biased, but he's the best player in college football. And, uh, you know, if, if, if the Blitnikoff is winning, looking for the best receiver in college football and not just, you know, stats, or I can't turn down the stat, sure you can. I mean, you know, it's so it just depends on what you're looking for. You know, and that's just the reality of, the postseason awards you're talking about, but right now we're focused on this team, these championships that are coming up, and we got some major games uh, on the horizon here. Right, just in your experience, both as a player and now as a coach, when you have a significant injury, how long do you start? Does it take until you start feeling like yourself again? You know, it, it's a combination of physically, you know, physically being able to do it, and then the mental, it's a mental thing there to it, and and then I feel some things. Do I give it weight? Do I ignore it? Like, is it trying to tell me something? There's such a mental conversation usually going on. At least I feel like there was uh, to make sure I wasn't, you know, re-injuring it or exposing myself to more injury, which doesn't help the team either. I just want to help the team. So there's a large conversation that goes on in your head. Uh, you just want to play football. You just want to feel good enough, or at least be very certain. I can't make it worse, right? That's the big. That's the big one. And uh, 
but it can be challenging. I mean, you're trying to compete against people that are, uh, I wouldn't say feel good, but are healthy and are flying around, and, and you have this as a hindrance, uh, and you're trying to play at your top level, and it can be tough. So a lot of credit to guys that fight through injuries, but that's part of the game. It's part of the game. How was Mecca? In your opinion, handling that because obviously uh, he's been back for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think Max a warrior. You know, I mean, there's, you know, I, I wouldn't, say, you know, he could tell you where where he feels, but you know, I think that whether he says, "Oh, I'm good, I'm 100 percent," I mean, the reality of it is, is you maybe feel good enough to play, which I appreciate, but you can't tell me, you know, you feel as good as you did in January, right? So, you know, I, I think uh, he's battling. He always will, and it's a huge testament to him on uh, the way he's been playing uh, coming off that injury. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, Cade has always had strong hands. And I think that at times um, he didn't reel in the ball in the past. He has consistently done that at a high level, which everyone knew he was capable of, but it's testament to him and Coach Bailey of, of getting the best out of, you know, the person. Because that's all the person, all, that's all the athlete wants to do is play at their very best and, and do what they're capable of. And I think I feel like good coaches, great coaches, uh, get the most out of their players, and that's really the good sign. At the end of the day, players make plays, not coaches. So players deserve all the credit, but as coaches, we just try to not maximize what they're capable of. And uh, and if you're doing that, it's a lot of credit to the coach. But tons of credit to Cade. Uh, he was always capable, and he's doing that at a high level day in day out. Brian, what do you like about that two running back set there with Chip and, and Xavier? I mean, Xavier obviously doubles as a wide receiver, too, but what do you like about that? Yeah, I mean, Ch Ch that, that, that package is very versatile. We can do a lot of things out of it. Uh, it's continuing to grow. Uh, we have a lot of plans for it, and uh, uh, the ability of those guys to do multiple things uh, is, is a great asset for us. As far as, yeah, as a, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we can get them in the game whenever we want. So uh, so I think that it just comes down to game plan and, and what we feel like we're trying to take advantage of and, and what our plan of attack is. Uh, but it's always readily available. It's funny, when we, we pull up old film, and just watch him as a freshman sometimes, you know, you just hear him every now and I mean, you know, he sees the difference. You know, I wouldn't say, I, you know, I might be like, ew, what is that? You know, and he'll be like, what do you mean? You know, and defend himself. But uh, he obviously came in with great talent and great ability. It was just, you know, the ability for himself to continue to fine tune and enhance, right? I mean, he had a phenomenal foundation, but uh, every guy grows. No one shows up, you know, the same and leaves the same. Like that's, that's, you know, a false narrative. So a lot of work's been put in. I know Marv sees, uh, you know, incremental growth every day, every week, and along with the rest of the guys. And uh, it's kind of hard to see when you're in it, but when you go back and see the old film, you're like, is that me? You know, kind of thing. And, and uh, so we've had some of those experiences when I was kind of in the room watching him and he's watching, he's watching himself or he's watching Chris and, or, or Garrett. And he's like, oh, my gosh, that was Chris, you know, and, you know, it's nothing against Chris, sorry. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's always fun to look back at, at old film. Last question for Coach. Oh, yeah. I mean, anyone that's capable of leading is going to walk. You don't want to be in a position and walk and then – or don't walk and then decide to leave. So, I don't think you walk twice, then, you know, never walk at all. Yeah, widely different paths, uh, but, you know, it's amazing, you know, how much they're alike, you know, how they've grown. I mean, the amount of things we asked Julian to do on the perimeter and the amount of things we've asked Xavier to do in all fa facets of, of the team um, is pretty remarkable. And uh, I know when there's a, in a big situation with a big spot, uh, those are two guys that we're going to rely on at a high level. So that says the most about them and, and their family, the way he was raised and the amount of work they put in. Thank you very much.